Hello, uh, my name is uh, Alex Pirglu. I'm a futures trader, macro futures trader, and also water technician. And today I wanted to share a little uh, tip, a little discovery I made a few years back, because I actually have been I've done a, um, quite an in-depth study of momentum indicators. Um, and something I discovered even before I did discover the uh, MACDV, that was probably 2015, if memory serves. So, at the bottom panel, we have the S&P 500 futures. At the uh, sorry, at the top panel, at the bottom panel, we have the RSI indicator with a look back period of 25. Now, the on the bottom panel also have a, a 50 bar moving average. And what I'll be showing is a little tip of how to use the RSI. Now, most people use the RSI um, for divergences, momentum, overbought, oversold. But did you know that you can use it as a, a trend definition tool? Now, there is a mathematical relationship between exponential moving averages and the RSI. And that relationship is given by this formula, how you can use the RSI as a trend tool. Now, the formula is when the RSI X look back period crosses over the 50 line that is mathematically equivalent to the close crossover doing a crossover of an exponential moving average that has twice the look back period of the rsi an example so when you've got the rsi say 14 and it crosses over the 50 line the middle line that is exactly mathematically equivalent to the close crossing over a 28 bar exponential moving average, 28 being twice the 14. And that is consistent across time frames, across markets, across uh, any kind of conditions you can find. So for this example, I've got a 50 bar moving average, which is quite um, you know, popular of the 50 and the 200. And that's why I plotted a 50 um, 25 RSI. So look at that. So when the RSI, uh, I hope you can see my cursor here, it uh, crosses down crosses the 50 line. That's when exactly when the uh, the price crosses down crosses the 20 the 20 uh, um, the 50 bar moving average. Again, up close up cross of the 50 line uh, for the 25 bar moving average up cross for the uh, S&P 500 in the uh, 50 bar moving average. Now let's try to twist it a bit and put it into the default, very popular four, 14. Does it, would that work? All right, let's change now the, um, the exponential moving average um, into uh, 28. That's twice the look back period. Let's look at this again, 20, the 50 bar, Sorry, the 28, uh, the 14 uh, look back period RSI is crossing over uh, the 50 line and uh, um, the S&P 500 crosses the uh, 28 bar moving average. Sorry if I'm a bit slow. I just I did a webinar for the money show and my brain is a bit fried. So this is a little tip how to use the RSI as a trend tool. To my knowledge, um, I haven't seen it anywhere else. So I hope you can use it. There are a lot of tips that how, uh, how you can use alternative ways to use the RSI. And more importantly, um, I twice awarded uh, MACTV Volatility Normalized Indicator. And with that, uh, thank you very much and God bless.